I am telling you, I was looking at one prayer request. When time comes for it, I will show you the, the prayer request. <laughs> I quote a date. I said, the first Jesus to cry, I want this to happen. I want this to happen. In that prayer request. Exactly. We did that period time frame I gave to God. That request, it happens. I kept that prayer request for the future of us. And everything in that request, I started looking at it. I said, the year is running now. I said, Lord, this is the month of Susu. Let me achieve this. And it was done. <laughs> Don't take time for granted with God. A day to him thousand years and he can turn things that we have been waiting for. Waiting for. For years. I'll give you one quick testimony before we go to prayer. You know, <laughs> when we are trying to look for this building by this church here, the Lord spoke to me. He said, in 2005, the Lord said, I want you to quit your job. I want you to serve here. In February, I said, no. But it, here comes, I was planning for my five day in July. Something happened. I have no choice. I said, Lord, prophet, I said, you have to obey God. And I did. I never regretted it. Though. But the day I resigned from the job, I got home. The Lord said, go inside the computer. I had him. That is why you must know how to hear from God. That is the teaching we are, going to, we are doing in the prayer warriors uh, class. How to not only hear, but to recognize who is talking. You hear, but who is talking? It could be you. It could be Satan. It could be God. Three people. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that is why I, we have to do teaching how to what, recognize whether it's me talking, whether Satan or God. It's very important. But I had God. I went to that room. He said, go inside the computer. Start looking for the church building. The first thing I saw is this building. He said, that is the place. Ah. No money now. We don't care. Where we don't have members. We don't have more than 20 members. The Lord said that thing. And the Lord said, this thing, you have to do. He said, be, before the 2005, that was in August. He said, before the end of 2006, I'm going to give you this day. There is no way in any form, any shape that is possible. Look into the account. Look at the members you have. No way. And the price. No way. But one thing is God. If you heard from God, in September 2006, there is no way. I went to Washington, D.C. When I came back from Washington, D.C. in September 2006, me and Prophetess, the Lord said, <laughs> I told you 2006, I'm going to bless. Ah. No, no, nobody. But suddenly, unusual connection came. We find a bank. He said, I'm going to. The bank, uh, the bank came and said, I want to meet with the pastor of the church. The five president. I said, in, in your office? He said, no. I'm coming to that property. I want to see in that property. Face to face. I came down here. He was here. Big guy. White man. He said, you are a pastor. I said, yes. I learned what you are trying to do for the church. Why do you want to do that? And I said, I just want to do it for God. He said, are you sure? I said, that will cost you. I said, yes, I want to do it. He couldn't believe it. And he said, we are having a meeting on Wednesday. In that meeting, I will discuss some things. Whether we are going to give you a loan. On Thursday, we will call you back. That was in October. 2006. When they went to the meeting, actually, uh, uh, normally the commercial loan takes at least 90 days. Even if it's very fast, they take 90 days. So I look at the end of the month. I said, There's nothing here this year. October ahead. What are we going to do? 
and then on Thursday, our phone call came from the guy, the white boy, said, Pastor Jibre, Bishop, something happened. I said, what happened? Good news or bad news? This is something happened. See, I never see things like this. Two days, he approved. You're low. I said, what? He said, yes. I said, I don't believe you. He said, yeah, they approved it. That was in November. And they have to put the paperwork together. Now, listen to me. The Lord said in the end of 2006 I'm going to give you the building. I did not remember that day. They started putting the paperwork together and they asked me, when do you want to close? I said, I just want to relax because the tension is too much. Let's just be 2007. We sent the paper. The bus started calling me. Say, no, we want to close in 2006. When we pick up the date, Two days to go and sign. The Lord reminded me. Say, didn't I tell you before the end of 2006? Two days to 2007, we closed the deal of this church. Two days to the new year. The Lord reminded me. Say, I told you in 2005. I said, I will give you this building. You don't have nothing. 